What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you what is idempotent matrix. A square matrix A is said to be an idempotent matrix if A square equals to A. For example, when we have a matrix like that, 2, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 3, and 4, 1, negative 2, negative 3. We need to find out if it's an idempotent matrix or not. So we're going to find out A squared, which is A times A, 2, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 3, 4, 1, negative 2, negative 3, 2, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 3, and 4, 1, negative 2, negative 3. That's going to be 2 times 2 plus negative 2 times negative 1 plus 4 times 1. So that's going to be... So that will be 4 plus 2 plus 4. Next one is going to be this row multiplied by this column. That's going to be negative 4, negative 6, and negative 8. Then you have 2, negative 2, and 4 times this column. 8 minus 8 minus 12. Then you have this row times this column. Negative 2, negative 3, and 4. Negative 1 times negative 2 is going to be 2, plus 9, minus 8. Next one is going to be this row times this column, negative 4 plus 12 plus 16. Next one is going to be this row times this column, 2 plus 2 minus 3. Negative 2 minus 6 plus 6. And at the end we have 4 minus 8 plus 9. So which is going to be? 10, negative 18, negative 12, negative 5, which is going to be negative 1 with the 4, 3, 24, 1, negative 2, and 5. So this matrix is different from the first one, so it is not an idempotent matrix. So this matrix is not idempotent because they're not the same. Let's have another example. B equals to 2, negative 3, negative 5, negative 1, 4, and 5, 1, negative 3, and negative 4. So B squared must be equal to B in order to have an idempotent matrix. So we need to multiply these two. 2 negative 3, negative 5, negative 1, 4, and 5, 1, negative 3, and negative 4, 2, negative 3, negative 5, negative 1, 4, 5, 1, negative 3, negative 4. So that will be 2 times 2, 4, negative 3 times negative 1, 3, Negative 5 times, negative 5 times 1 is going to be negative 5. This row times this column, that's going to be negative 6, negative 12, plus 15. Here you have negative 10, negative 15, plus 20. Then you have negative 2, minus 4, plus 5, 3, plus 16 minus 15, 5 plus 20 minus 20, then you have 2 plus 3 minus 4, negative 3 minus 12 plus 12, and finally we have negative 5 minus 15 plus 16. That's going to be 2 here you have negative 3, negative 5, 
negative 1, positive 4, 5, 1, negative 3, negative 4. So b squared is going to be equal to b. So that's why we have an idempotent matrix. A square matrix is called idempotent matrix when you have squared of the matrix equals to the original matrix. Now in this example, I want to show you if this matrix is going to be idempotent matrix or not. So again, we need to have a squared equals to a. So when we multiply it, 2, negative 2, negative 4, negative 1, 3, 4, 1, negative 2, negative 3. Multiply it by itself, 2, negative 2, negative 4, negative 1, 3, and 4, 1, negative 2, and negative 3. When you multiply it, you have 2 times 2, negative 2 times negative 1, negative 4 times 1. Then you have, that's actually this is going to be negative 4, okay, negative 4 times 1. Then you have 2 times negative 2, negative 4, two, negative 2 times 3, 6, negative 4 times, this one is going to be 8. 2 times negative 4, negative 8, negative 2 times 4 is going to be negative 8, 4 times negative 6 is going to be negative 16. The last one is going to be, sorry, negative 8, negative 8, and this one is going to be positive 12. Positive 12. Then you have negative 1 times 2, negative 2, 3 times negative 1, 4 times 1. Negative 1 times negative 2, 3 times 3, 4 times negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 4, 3 times 4. 4 times negative 3. 1 times 2, negative 2 times negative 1, negative 3 times 1. 1 times negative 2, negative 2 times 3, negative 3 times negative 2. Then you have 1 times negative 4, negative 2 times 4, negative 3 times negative 3. When you basically simplify it, you have 4 plus 2 minus 4 is going to be 2. Negative 4 plus 6 plus 8 is going to be 2. That's actually negative 6. It's going to be negative 2. Then you have here negative 8, negative 8 plus 12. That's going to be negative 4. Negative 2, negative 3 and positive 4 is going to be negative 1. 2, 9, and negative 8 is going to be 3. 4 plus 12 minus 12 is going to be 4. 2 plus 2 minus 3 is going to be 1. Negative 2 minus 6 plus 6 is going to be negative 2. Negative 4 minus 8 plus 9 is going to be negative 3. So since a squared equals to a, we can say that this in matrix is an idempotent matrix. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. Thank you for watching and have a great day.